So we have headed over to look at this wonderful house from the at home team and I am joined by the lovely Paul and Mark who are the directors of the company to tell us a little bit more about what it is that they do. So who's going to start? Who's going to tell us a little bit about at home and yeah, what you get up to as a company? Uh, at home, yeah. So we are a modular off-site uh, manufacturing business and we're very focused on the uh, fabric performance and ecological aspects of uh, modular and off-site construction. I love this. So for anyone who potentially is new, they're looking in going, oh, what is modular construction? How would you describe that? Um, it's, it's taking the uh, requirements of the construction uh, design and uh, site elements, moving them into a controlled environment and uh, assuring the quality uh, and uh, stability and uh, dimensional performance uh, of, of the modules. Yeah, lovely. And it's I mean, a self-contained oh. unit, sorry. It's all right, no, no, no. I'm it's a self-contained unit that's built typically in a factory to a certain size that can be transported on the British roads. How you divide it up internally is entirely up to the client, etc. All the things that you see here are totally adaptable. The kitchens, the room layouts, what we're really about is the actual structural box itself, its inherent performance, structural capabilities, thermal performance, air tightness, etc. So the box itself can be adapted, changed to whatever requirements the client is after. It's quite exciting, isn't it? The fact that actually, it, it, yeah, a little bit, it's awesome. I think people are very surprised to see that a module this size can be transported on the British roads. I mean, uh, absolutely. So meters wide, 14 meters long, 3.5 meters high. So seeing this go up the motorway. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get stuck behind one. Yeah, fine, it can go, but it might be slow. Uh, no, I, I think it's so exciting as um, such an innovation within the industry as well. Um, because this is a full house we've got going on here. This is, I'd, I'd happily move in tomorrow. This sofa is so comfortable. This um, is a one bed self-contained apartment. Brilliant, should we have a little look round? Um, I don't know who wants to give me the little tour. Paul, are you gonna show the way? Okay, so just kitchen, living, dining, space uh, to this end, uh, storage, hot water tank. Uh, we have a little look in the hot water. So actually it is very much. Air source, heat pump, uh, hot water tank. Great. Shower room. Um, so we just come in here. Open it's a great open space here. Walk in. Walk-in shower, fully tiled, all ready to use. I mean, it, it's so hard to believe that this is something that is modular and can just be customed and moved about. Um, yeah. So, I mean, this is bigger than my bathroom. It's great. Um, so if we go next door as well, what have we got? It's the bedroom, this side. Um, again, a great size. So, um, yeah. Uh, bedroom, double bedroom space, uh, space for wardrobe or other furniture, and then uh, leading out onto the balcony. I think the balcony is really lovely as well because it does give that little element of an outside space, which, again, you wouldn't necessarily think within a modular uh, building just being put together, but it does offer that something a little bit unique. Yes, yeah, so um, these, are, these particular uh, units are designed, they could be sort of in three or four storey high, uh, in groups of 10 or 20, stairs and lift cores at either end um, yeah, to be uh, formed in, in that way. So we'll come over to Mark then and just ask you know why is it important then that you are here at UK Construction Week and because I mean this is quite the build. Yeah we, we want to showcase uh, this module it's a large module it's 14 meters by five meters I think the feedback we've been getting as people has been coming in is that how on earth does this get transported on the British roads etc so we just wanted to show the size of the module that can be produced in a factory, the quality that can be produced too, and the thermal performances that we can achieve, etc., in terms of reducing heating bills, you know, low, low carbon. Uh, we marry these modules up to uh, solar panels, batteries. We've got clients in Cardiff that don't pay any electricity bills. So, you know, there's a lot of options that you can do with these modules. I just love it. And thank you so, so much for giving us a little bit of a tour around, gentlemen. Uh, come down, come and have a little walk around the at-home home, I guess is how we're going to describe it. Yeah. Um, here for the next three days, you can't miss it. It's one of the biggest uh, builds here at UK Construction Week. So come down and have a chat with Paul and Mark and learn a little bit more about what they do.